Alright, hello Rumble Techers. Okay, so, I have, uh, taken the plunge here. And I have, uh, decided to... Notice I seem to have restarted, and that was because I decided to... Move on to 2 you because there's so many big changes and people wanted to see videos on that versus the old version, which I guess people aren't as interested in playing anymore. So I decided to restart so that I could do that. So I didn't want to bore everybody with the early... I did make some videos but never posted of the just arriving in the world and trying to get set up. But frankly, it was kind of boring. And the most interesting was watching paint dry, so I'm going to... Instead, just kind of give you a quick overview of the world here. Um, so to you, I mean, it's, it's got some of the biome packs, like large biomes, etc. That's, or biomes are plenty, that's it. So, you know, you'll find some interesting different places. Um, there's some, lots of new creatures, lots of new animals. Um, I guess first thing we'll start with, let me check the sun. Yeah, it's going to get nighttime soon. The animals. So the animals... As you can see, there's these strange bug sheep. Hey, Enderman. Yes. The... So I'm get him open. Keep playing silly games. Huh? So as you can see, there's a still some of the vanilla stuff in here. So I decided after a lot of searching, I actually spawned like right around here. The spawn points like right over here somewhere. You can see that I'm not far off the zero point of this game. And I spawned near some uh, some decent resources here. Um, just copper tetrahedrite right here. There's magnetite here, although it has gold instead of iron. There's lignite up inside this mountain here. And there was a bunch down here as well that I already picked out. And there was these open areas that had lots of stuff I could just scrape up. Small ores, which is very good for starting out. And uh, so, you know, just fun times. Um, <clears throat> I actually decided to build right here. I'm like, look, I got water, I've got the ocean here, so I can travel easily. I always like being near the ocean if I can. My other game, I was so far from the ocean that I decided I didn't want to be there. I wanted to be decently close to the, to the spawn point in case I got killed and dumped in the middle of the woods instead of my bed, which occasionally happens. <clears throat> On this one, it might be a little more important because uh, the monsters in this game are ridiculous. Uh, they were absolutely ridiculous, and uh, starting out was very difficult. One of the first things I made was a bed, and I'm actually glad I did because I, it was uh, once I I actually made the bed while exploring. It was actually I just found a sheep, beat the death. Those uh, great big bug-looking things actually give you a lot of stuff. I'm gonna let it get dark here and show you what's going on. Actually, uh, most nights I will sleep. Make sure these aren't getting too cooled off as well. Oh yeah, these are fully heated, so they can cool off overnight. Um, I have the area torched out, which is what I often do, and yes, you need to do this. Among the monsters are, um, these giant ogre-looking things that can just plow through walls, throwing blocks everywhere. I don't know if they can do it through cobble or certain other things, but they could definitely do it through, uh, <clears throat> regular stone and wood and dirt, it's because they, uh, I actually went into a cave, and for some reason this thing was retreating from me, but he actually plowed this huge tunnel as he did so, before I was able to kill him. It was kind of crazy. But, uh, you'll see that the, uh, despite the fact that I'm, that I'm here, that monsters are starting to pop up in various places. There's one. I don't think I've seen that one before. But unfortunately, despite the fact that I've torched the area, now these guys formed in that dark area over there and wandered over. But uh, 
sea monsters will appear out of the water. Let's see if I, there's probably one. There's usually one on the other side. This lake seems to still is so deep that it actually seems to treat it like ocean. So I actually get sea serpents and these giant flying, these giant floating fish things. They tend to stay in the water until they see you. Then they come floating out and they uh, hit you with some kind of an attack. Yeah, I hear something. Something ugly in the water there. I actually built a little bit of an overhang here. Oh, here we are. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. Super fast poison. Yikes. Okay, like I said, the monsters are ridiculous. That was a very good demonstration right there. I'm not going to mess with that thing for now. The giant sea serpents and other garbage will come pour, just pouring out of the woodwork near water. So, I don't have my normal open air type base because, uh, you know, we're, I expect torches to protect me because, ouch. A um, few things are gone. You'll notice I'm not surrounded by ender minis, which is both a blessing and a curse. Um, I don't have to listen to their stupid noises. But I also don't get cheap ender pearls. Ender pearls are going to be a lot harder to come by. I've only I think I've only collected one so far, one or two maybe. Yeah, just one. I got that one last night actually. Yeah, I'll go up on that top of that hill when the sun comes up. Oh crap! There it is. Hang on, we got something over here. One of those giant flying fish things. I don't want to let it see me because it has a stupid attack that really sucks. Where'd he go? I just saw him over there and now he's gone. Things don't come and go. I don't know how close you are. That, the giant fish thing, it's its huge, and it hits you with some kind of a spear. And even if you go indoors, you're still attached to the spear, and you can't use your machines. And, it, and if you go into your thing here, it'll say, like, pierced or something like that, or impaled or something like that. And you have to either go out and kill it, or you have to go behind doors. If you go outside while it's around, it will actually... Ah, oh, there it is. See it back there. There's one. Yeah, there it is. It looks like a sea serpent, but it'll actually rise up and it's some fish thing with tentacles. Giant fish thing with tentacles and that will... It will hurt you where it looks at you. So I could go stand up on top of that mountain after being pierced by it. And it would, and if it could see me, if it had a line of sight to me that wasn't blocked, I will actually start getting hurt. And it sucks. So... I have to... Uh, if you're going to travel over land as well, um, take a bed with you. I have a travel bed. I explored quite a lot of the area. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, the, uh, the getting out of the thing here. Uh, if you get into your base, you can exit You can exit the game and then come back in. And then they will not be hitting you anymore. You definitely need a ranged weapon for use, for use on this guy. But they, they tend to go away once the sun comes up too. They usually don't hang around too long. You can also go underground, walk a distance, and then come back, and then they'll probably be gone as well. But you can see the crazy amount of red symbols out there. There is just a, That lake is just full of nasties. Uh, you definitely don't want to get caught out in a boat in the water at night. So if you're charting, this, if you're charting the seven seas, find island. Make sure you keep make sure you keep your eye on a nearby island in case the sun's if the sun starts going down. Start looking for an island. Shut up, uh, just bivouac down for the night and you'll be fine. But yeah, underground is equally stupid. There's just uh, a lot of uh, horrible things down there. Um, if you go near lava, for example, those, you know, those big trenches that you sometimes find, or those big chasms that you find that have that are full of lava, the uh, Bad things will tend to happen to you down there. And you will get down there and 
all of a sudden these monsters will start appearing near the lava and fire shooting fireballs at you these kind of lava bat things Another problem I had when I got here is uh, my base was there's a little there was a pool of this underground water but it's blue it's this kind of bl funny blue color and these stupid cackling monsters that are really really annoying to listen to will appear and it took me a little while to get myself strong enough to go down there and deal with that uh, basically I had to take dirt and fill the water up now you have to get every single bit of this stuff. Turned out there were a couple isolated pockets, and monsters were still spawning inside there. They were underground where they couldn't bother me, but I had to listen to their noises, and so I had to uh, to deal with that. You might hear a strange noise here. I've got a cat purring on the desk right next to the microphone. But anyway, the uh, that's 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 to you so far. Um, pause this up for a second here um so the uh, so the other things i found is the machines the, the recipes are vastly different uh, in some cases some things are similar and some things are different um let me see here uh give me a, just a moment here So, for example, like uh, building battery buffers is really no different than it was before. Um, batteries themselves, pretty much the same. You just need the battery alloy plate, you use the alloy furnace to make them, blah, blah, blah. Um, pretty simple, pretty cut and dried stuff. Slip out the back here. I see a few of those monsters are over there. Oh, it's on fire, whatever it is. I show off a few of the monsters here. Oh no, those things suck. Is this the thing that spits poison? Get used to that. That's the kind of crap you're going to run into underground. Caves are very dangerous. And it's very hard to get going in the early game because of it. Um, very, very hard. I struggled very badly. For a rather long time. I don't see any of the stupid monsters are in the area here. I don't see any. So yeah, you're going to regret going near a lot of monsters. So I think that gives a pretty good demonstration there of uh, just what kind of craziness you're going to face. Um, so like uh, other things, like I seem to have I've gotten through I've gotten through the Bronze Age. I just got the Electrical Age started. Um, sulfur is one big problem I've had so far, and uh, I'll show you how I've solved that. So sulfur. much needed component of rubber, and you do need stupid amounts of rubber in this, as you do in the normal game. But before you can produce rubber effectively, you have to, you know, hook it up with the bar, which you then have to sacrifice two to get in with a plate hole in a single sheet. Which really hurts because you need six of those sheets just to, uh, just to set up a bar, just to, just to get a conveyor going. So I've actually been a little stuck here. I, I went and scraped the first 12 up from underground, and so for, for the first conveyor belt, and that took a long time. I mean, I needed to carve some tunnels anyway, but yikes, that hurt. Um, but I'll make one soon. Um, The 
the other, of course, was my other go-to on my, you know, my first game, scraping them up off the uh, scraping them up off the small ores you find down, down at level 10 or so. It's, you know, it's just, it's kind of a no-go. Ah, here, I want to show you these guys. So watch what this fool does. Yes, he throws with water. Another reason my base is inside. Uh, well, enclosure. That he, this guy throws water, and it goes away after a bit, but it can blow up machines and cause other problems. <laughs> Alright, sorry, a little aside there, but I, I saw him lurking out there and wanted to show you that guy. Now, another reason, I'm actually kind of wishing I hadn't built near water. Once I get the monster repelators, I'm going to put one on each end of this island, and that will put them, that'll put the kibosh on some of this nonsense. I might even stick another one over here underneath the as long as it's buried or something, it'll be it'll be fine. But it'll it'll yeah. The monster repellers are gonna repel repellers repellers. The monster repellers are gonna have a uh. Let me get the repellers one. Uh, anyway, monster repellers are gonna have a uh, very very good use in this. But anyway, um. Gosh, I lost the topic I was on. Sulfur. Um, the Nether was my go-to because there's plenty of it in the Nether if you can get low enough. Well, I went into the, I did, I did, so there's, um, one thing to point out, these black areas, these, these spooky areas, they tend to produce these Grim Reaper guys, and these Grim Reapers can float, can go through rocks, they're not very tough, but they're a pain, and, but you, when you kill them, you get obsidian, which is nice, uh, that is one nice thing about the monsters, though, is that, is that you will get some things, like, these, these things called Jabberwocks, that give you nice piles, and let me see if I can find one. Um, that give you nice piles of leather. So no more dealing with breeding cows. Which is boring and stupid. You can just go hunt down some Jabberwocks and you've got plenty of them. Jabberwocks are one of the more common monsters. They're, they're like the zombie of this game. They just, they're just everywhere. It's usually a bunch roaming around up here. They seem to like to form up here. There are certain monsters that like to form certain biomes too, it seems. But the... I don't see them. Oh well, who cares? Let's move on. So, going back to my base here. Taking my lumps on the way. Um, oh yeah, those trees, these fir trees. I mean, remember the big giant one, the big super tall ones that you could put four together? No more. All right, anyway. So, this black areas, I got enough obsidian off these little Grim Reapers. Just fighting and farming from them. To build this thing, and I am not going in there. <laughs> uh, the, the instant I went in there, I was attacked by monsters from Doom. You know, yes, Doom. Only they freaking explode when you kill them, dealing extra damage and blowing bits of chunks of uh, whatever you're standing on everywhere. And if you're standing on something thin, you're gonna go. You're gonna go for a drop. Uh, I did get out of there alive, but just barely. There were just stupid, ridiculous monsters in the, in the Nether. And so the Nether is a no-go, at least until I get a jetpack and probably some better and probably better a better class of armor. Um, there is this modular armor. I built some up and threw some plates on it. You have to worry about weight limit. I think 2,500 is your weight limit, but uh, I could probably get slightly better protection. It doesn't look like it's that good of protection on paper, but it actually seems to give me in some ways a little bit better protection than you would think. Um, then. Vanilla armor, I may be wrong. I haven't played too much with it yet. The there is a way to get the interface running here as well. But this you doesn't let you click through your different armor types. I don't know what's up with that. So I don't know what these arrows mean either. There's just there's, there's no real instruction manual for this thing, so I haven't really figured out a lot. You'll notice like I mapped that to the one key because the M key is used for Galactic Craft, which I'm not really gonna mess with. Oh, did they change that yet? Here, question mark. And they may not have actually developed that much yet. Yeah, fun stuff. Anyway, so if I had that one key's mapped to some other thing, you notice my tooltips kind of vanished. I just hit one again and it's back. Um, I'll probably have to remap that key to something else, but honestly, it's not really one you're going to need a whole lot of, so I don't like worry too much. 
Um, so anyway, sulfur. So it's, what was I going to do with sulfur? So what I found is that um, I could use a centrifuge to break stibnite apart and get my sulfur that way. And now the unfortunate thing, as I shall show you here, is that it takes a oh, kind of an idiotic amount of steam to do this. All right, luckily, I've got some pretty good production. Ten of these in here. You'll definitely want the high-pressure boiler, maybe even the lava boiler. You want to kick out quite a lot of steam. It's gonna actually gonna pull this thing down. I haven't built a battery buffer yet, so I actually went ahead, kind of jumped ahead to build that, and I'm gonna have to do that just to get this stuff. So you know, I just have to wait a little bit between runs because of the uh, slowness factor. Once I get battery buffers and other things built, um, the reason I, I mean I could build a battery buffer now. The reason I haven't. Is actually quite simple and that would be that I don't have access to sodium cadmium um, what's the other one sodium cadmium mercury uh, lithium I don't have access to any of those three and that is simply because I haven't found any salt yet I haven't found any I haven't done a lot of cave exploring yet, because caves are kind of ridiculous right now. I, I am going to have to man up and start looking for that. I did find 10. That was a long journey. But luckily, I can actually go by boat, get over there decently quickly, load up on 10, and there is an absolute metric ton of it right on the surface, which is great. I don't have to go fooling around in a cave. Once you put torches down in a cave, you're generally okay. If there's a nearby cave, though, then there's a dark area, Grim Reapers can start coming out of the walls in that area. But um, the caves, you just got to go slow and step by step. It's kind of crazy. There's some interesting biomes here. This one, this area here is actually kind of cool, but it's very uh, uneven. I actually built, where I built, I decided I wanted to be near a big lake and as well as access to the ocean. Although the sea monsters are a bit of a pain in the night. Stay a little bit back for when we're fried. Um, but anyway, I actually built, and I had to, t to tear this hill down, and that took a ridiculous amount of time. I really miss my power tools. Um, I wish I had them back, but yeah, that's what it is. So, anyway, um, let me show you a few of the other changes here. Um, circuits. So electronic circuit in the past was a simple little thing. You needed some redstone wire, you needed this refined iron casing, but you could you could pump them out decently well. Well, welcome to hell. Uh, you're going to have to wrap these things in paper, which means you're going to need stupid, idiot amounts of paper. Um, you have to make vacuum tubes, which are going to take a lot of copper wire. Um, don't use the regular copper wire. Use the fine wire, because it's so much cheaper. Um, even, even just using the hammer. You can hammer the plate into a foil and then cut the foil and it'll actually be a little bit cheaper. So no, I would take, it would take three pieces of foil to make one of these this way. I can do it with a single one here. And once you get your machines, you'll be able to, the wire, the wire mill, no problem. Um, yeah, resistors, Oh, you have the circuit board, which you just need wooden planks, and wood's pretty easy to come by. Uh, I did. Oh, this area does have lots of uh, rubber trees, or you can always go find some somewhere and transport the these saplings in and start to start your farm. But yeah, the sticky resin will be useful, which is nice because I, I do have a. Uh, I did build a coal area. I just wish I could make those giant trees, but they seem to have replaced them with these smaller trees, but. They're still decent, and they grow very fast. You chop them down, you come in here, you put the wood in, you come out, and one or two of them already come back. But I made the full-size uh, guy here, because you're just going to need it. So, let's grab a little of this up. So, like I said, for my lighting needs, the, the res I don't really need the resin anymore. I can use that thing. But I, uh, although I'm, right now, I'm really pumping my goods into steel. 
It does take a long time to fill that thing up, but it's worth it. You make much far fewer runs now. Just keeping my steel topped up. Give me a moment. I have a few messages here. Let's just take care of those real quick. See if this guy recovered. Yay, he did. Yeah, I gotta do some chunks of five, but I'll get my I'll get my sulfur that way. Rubber, of course, is simple to come by simply because I can just go out and tree tap things. Um, let's go with some other changes. So electronic circuits. A lot of things actually do have some uh, alternatives. Resistors, diodes. That's gonna be interesting. Wafers. Oh, yeah, wafers. Well, you want to make wafers, you're going to need monocrystal silicon. A lot of silicon, a long time in the blast furnace. But you do get a lot of wafers out of these. I haven't actually got there yet. I was just playing around, reading around some of the recipes. You're going to have to worry about making transistors, getting a silicon plate, fine mesh wire, fine tin wire. You're going to use up a lot of tin. Capacitors. You need aluminum to some of the stuff. It's it's gonna get kind of crazy. Electrum. But again, luckily you can make a lot of this stuff. Resistors aren't too bad. You can use the fine wire. Don't be stupid and use this kind of wire. I mean, it just I don't even know why they bother with this recipe. <clears throat> because you just you get this, you get so much better use of materials even in the even in the grunting around caveman age, you're still going to do better that way. Uh, let's have a look at the the large distillation tower. Nanoprocessors assemblies. But it looks like you could also use these guys. An extreme circuit workstation is what it's called. So there's, there's, there, the, that's where you're going to, electrical age is where you're going to see just ridiculous changes. Uh, still water. Let's go with that. Food canning machine. Know. This guy has just brought himself a ticket out of nowhere. Oh well, no wonder pearl. Uh, Still water. Chemical reactor can obviously make it. That's got its own changes. Let's look at the end of the chemical reactor. They've added more slots. Maybe. Uh, maybe not. Um, so we'll try nitrate. Chemical reactor. That's what I'm looking for is the distillation tower. The distillation tower, very heavy oil. That's interesting. There, look at this. Look at the amount of products you can get out of this distillation tower. And they've got just ridiculous stuff like methyl acetate. Methanol. The chemistry in this is quite improved, but that also unfortunately means you're going to be swimming. You're going to be needing to make a lot of drums. Like some stuff here will just make just. I mean, just look at this: methane gas, ethylene, ethane, butadiene, propane, propene, butene, benzene, toluene. And of course, the carbon dust and heavy fuel and naphtha. I mean, what can you do with some of this stuff? Like, you know, what are we going to do with uh, butadiene? You can make it out of all kinds of crap. So the distillery's got lots more recipes. 
Um, I don't even know what you'd use it for. Another hydro craft. Butadine. Large a large chemical reactor. Okay, that's a new one. I didn't see that guy. The old cracker can do some stuff with it as well. So you're going to have a lot of fun with the chemistry in this. Uh, it's going to be rather wild. It's going to be rather wild. Let's see. Let's hope these monsters decided to go away over here. But yeah. So, um, surviving. Um, what, you're going to need weapons. I'm going a little over time on this, but I figure you'll want to, uh, you'll want to go to counting in the game here. Um, I mean, survival, obviously, try to get to wrought iron as soon as possible. Yeah. Wrought iron is actually a decent weapon. You can do a decent amount of damage, and, uh, Used up my last one of these. Boo. Alright. I only need a little bit of that anyway. Yeah, I'm not using it as quickly as I did when I was making torches out of it. Obviously torch your area very well. Sleep during the sleep during the night. Uh, when you travel, carry a bed with you. Uh, you're gonna need it. Um, what else? Um, experiment around, like, look, look, maybe check out some of the modular armor. Um, once you get to the medium voltage age, you can make this, uh, more like mechanical armor. That looks like it has a lot more capability. I think you can put a lot more weight on it. And you can add special capabilities, like breathing underwater and stuff like that. Um, they do have power armor in this. The power armor mod is in this as well, and that's, that's a, that's a big fun thing. Actually, I was going to get more work with dust at some point. I think I'm good for now. But, uh... So you'll definitely want to get that going. Um, let's see. Uh, like I said, explore. Uh, kick the bed with you so you can go very far. Just be able to whack down for the night. Just keep an eye on the sun. Uh, mining underground, if you have a cave system, try to tunnel to it from your base. That way you can... If, if nighttime come while you're underground. You don't have to try to run across the surface to get home. Or bring a bed so that you can go to whack down and then go home during the day when it's safe. If you see a monster that you can handle, don't be afraid to do a runner. <laughs> That's a, the best thing you can do is get away as fast as possible. One of the nastier effects they'll give you is this thing called weight. Uh, weight basically makes it so you can't jump means you're too heavy, you can't jump. You'll sink like a stone in water too. And uh, it also slows you down, and uh, I, I had something get weight on me. I killed it, but the weight effect lasted long enough that I wasn't able to get away from the skeleton who was taking shots at me. Ended up being, you know, ending up, you know, just kind of dead. Uh, we got plenty of steam. I can make it very quickly. I need more water dust. This thing done. This fire. Yeah. And that's done, and that's done. I don't want, I don't want to starve things out of, uh, out of steam here. It'll get there. I need this up, but it'll get there. OG night sleep. Yeah, like I said, even in my base, I've got to sleep because I can't torch out the the ocean. I could have moved my base, but 
I, I kind of like this area. I, I like a little bit of the challenge too, so we'll just deal with it. Um, yeah, exploring underground to find veins. Once you get the area torched, you're pretty safe. Um, there's actually my, I actually one of the first things I found is this chasm here is full of uh, lemonite. <laughs> And the lava will automatically spawn monsters, so even during the day. So sunlight is no barrier to them. When you're exploring on the surface, you'll sometimes find little areas of lava, and these little bat things will come out and start shooting fireballs at you, and they suck. They'll set you on fire, and yeah, it's no fun. So you know, feel free, like I said, uh, but when I tunneled underground to the to the to the stuff and attacked it from within the walls. Those things don't bother me, they don't hurt me, there seems to be nothing that can actually reach me down there. Two, four, five, six, eight. Oops, I need six. That means nine. It's like 1.5 with the steam hammer. My next run of that, and then suck this stuff out. You can go through lots of wire cutters. Really not. I'll be happy to get the wire mill made. I'm just trying to get through a few of these guys here. Um, let's see, other survival tips. Just. Uh, you got to be kidding me. It's two each. Uh, that'll get me through one of them, and then I'll make the next conveyor belt with the next one. Stib Knight. Stib Knight will be your friend. Tetrahedrite. I don't know if this will get through Tetrahedrite for a random power. I mean, it'll get through Stib Knight. I need to go get more Stib Knight. That, yeah, that idiot machine's running. I'm gonna go get some Stib Knight. Which, thankfully, is close. I'm really cl glad I got close to one of these. I actually pulled all the crap off the surface already. Where's my little tunnel? It's around here somewhere. Where are you at? Tunnel, hello. Oh, you're over here. I'll just make one. Oh, look, there it is. Make it a little more visible here. Get a little sulfur out of this too. Yeah, you don't often don't want to stand around in the dark too long. Monsters have a way of appearing rather quickly in this too. It's definitely dialed up quite a bit. Shoot. What are we gonna do? Damn. So, step point. Finally. Take any copper ore you can get to. I come near the end of this. Yeah, my sheep are going to make a lot of stupid noise up there. Um. So, I mean, uh, what else? I mean, you're just going to have to use your head. Uh, you, do, you definitely have to use your head to survive and get to where you're going. Um, uh, weapons. There's not a lot of good weapons, unfortunately. Other your sword. Um, arrows. There are uh, dinosaur monsters. You might probably want to make a dinosaur. I'm going to make a dinosaur farm at some point so I can get arrows easily. Stay lower. I don't want to keep getting stiff night. There's going to be more of it back here. 
have a stupid amount of it last night. And they bring those, my last steel pickaxe too, I'm gonna make another one of those. They change the blast furnaces up a bit. You actually have two early blast furnaces you can pick. Bronze, which if you find lots of topper and tin, you're in good shape, but uh... The other one I opted to go for was clay. I have tons of clay. Or clay-based. Um, it's kind of a ridiculous amount of clay, though. But living near the water like I do, I've got tons of it. There's some rivers nearby. So I was able to make plenty of it. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, Stib Knight's going to get me through my early rubber needs, but just barely. Once I get a battery buffer in, I've got to find some salt. I guess the next thing I need to do is find some sodium. Oh, hell, broke. Alright. Oh, man, I wish these things would just shut the hell up. I'm gonna go back, macerate it. That is probably oil sands. I got oil sands, I got magnetite nearby. Um, but uh, let's see, magic. Yes, uh, magic. Unfortunately, the the wand the wand things take a well, just like the other game. You have to get to kind of a ridiculous level of. Uh, before you can actually use the wands for for attack. So unfortunately, not so much an option. Crushing this touch key to right see how it does. Anyway, get my steel here. I'm gonna make some pickaxes. And just two more of those. steel there. I'll eat up my tools on this. I'll be so glad to get my uh, good tool, my uh, power tools back. I'll need stainless steel, but I'm, I'm on a I'm on a fast path to go get that. So anyway, magic. Magic's not going to be your friend until later. Um, you might even need it in the nether. Being able to throw ice at enemies is going to be a big thing. I mean, I can't even make the ice thrower without aluminium. So, let me get the thawcraft out here. I might be able to make the fire one. Let's see what it takes. Nope. Not without fire charges. And you own an Ignis lens and an Envar ring. Yeah, I could probably make Envar now. Then rings out of it. Get nickel and get iron. I have a nickel mine near me too. It's in fact right under my base. Interestingly, my base has three things underneath it that I had in my old game under my base. I had nickel. I have bastonite. And I have oil sands. Uh, so maybe if I, hopefully there'll be some redstone down there too. I found a bee's nest that had redstone around it. Yeah. There's a shock wand, which I can't even, even get to yet. But I, I remember that one taking the Iobium. And yeah, good luck. Good luck finding a manganese in this one. Uh, that's going to be really bad. That, that was an ugly search last time I had to do it. Yeah. No fun. So anyway, uh, that's, that's this guy in a nutshell. I'm going to break this video up now. It's getting a little long, so I'll be back in a few minutes.